Hi guys, this is Julian. Um, I'm applying to the Connective Cities Hackathon uh, to solve this issue of fake news, something that we've been seeing a lot on social media, lastly, and especially during the, the crisis of the COVID-19. And uh, we consider this is something that can affect the most sensitive users um, that don't really know how to check the information and that can more easily believe things that are not true or even being like um, impacted by by some hate speech or some yeah misinformation misbehavior from from the other from the other users so actually our proposition is um, a web a web robot that will filter the message that are being published on the social medias and send a preventing message when the robot will detect that there is something that is potentially a bad message, a nasty message, he will detect and uh, ask, the, ask the, the user a confirmation he really wants to, to, to publish. Uh, we consider that most of the people don't want to, to publish wrong information or to act in, 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 in the way that they will hurt other users. So it should, it should already um, cancel a lot of bad behavior on social networks. And so here it is, I will show you how it works. So if you go actually on the, on the GitHub repository of Democracy Studio, it's called Fake News Detector. And so you can download this file called app.pi. Uh, and then once you have the app, you will run it on your terminal. Here it is. It opens a window. Here we are. And so this is our fake news detector. Um, actually, I'm going to uh, this um, yeah, satiric uh, Facebook page. It's written in France. So the thing is the robot actually speaking French because we are answering to a challenge for the cities of Lomé in Togo and uh, the state of Madagascar. So those, those two countries are French speaking in Africa. So I will take one random a message of a complotist. Well, it's it's a, it's a fake one. It's just for joking, but still, I mean. So this guy is saying something like, "Sadly, the vaccine is not very um, efficient because we need one shot every day. Big pharma must make a lot of money." So this is a this is a funny fake news. Um, and then, so let's go to the app over there. There it is. You will, so you see that there on the interface, you can choose what kind of activity you want to do. So you have basically a fake news tester and you also have something that's equivalent for hate speech. So actually you are trying now to check the fake news and here it is. So you will paste your text over there and then you choose one algorithm um those were not to like usual classifying machine learning algorithm okay uh nearest neighbor and random first i'm using the random first and i'm asking z3 to check it uh -huh. and so z3 detects that there is probably a miss a misinformation in that message so that's the basic eerie of course we will need to we will need to make it more uh let's say to train it more that's what we did during the weekend for example if you check the hate speech uh and you say something like uh you are really ugly in french it would be like okay and so you choose there uh, this neural network, for example, and you ask Z3 to check the message. And he's saying, hey, are you messing with me? So Z3 understood that uh, there is a hate speech behind this message. So we believe this is something that could help a lot uh, on social networks to have uh, a kind of filtering um, 
saying to users that maybe what they are publishing uh, is is not is not good for other users, and they sh they should think more about uh, how they behave on social networks. So. Um, yeah, thank you very much. We chose uh, this Z3 um, figure, which is actually uh, a legendary king from Lome, Togo, who is considered as a protector of the of Lome, the capital of, of Togo and its in, in the inhabitants. And so, yeah, this is this is uh, a person that we uh, that we like, and I think. Yeah, the, the people in, in Lome, especially the young people, they will enjoy uh, being this, this fake news detector with the support of, of Z3. Thank you very much. Um, don't forget that you can go on the GitHub to have uh, the app and test it by yourself. And yeah, here we go.